Bye. <laughs> I hate it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or hello if you're new here. What an interesting intro. Before I start, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm sick, I have a mint in my mouth. So if you're like, why is she sounding more like a man than she usually does? Because I know y'all love making fun of my voice and making me insecure about it. But I'm getting sick right now, so my voice sounds a little bit more Husky than usual. Husky. Don't you love that word? And my voice sounds different if you're a first time viewer and you're like, why is your voice so deep? Well, first of all, I just have a deep voice. Second of all, I'm also sick, but I get enough voice comments already. You don't have to comment again. We get it. I got a deep ass voice and I sound like a freaking man. You don't have to make me cry about it at night. Jeez. Today we're gonna be watching Let It Snow. I have no idea what this is about. I think it's a John Green book. Who knows? It probably is. Everything's by John Green or a fan fiction. We have a 50-50 chance of it either being a John Green book or a Wattpad fan fiction. That's the type of movies we're pulling from nowadays. So I don't, I think it's a John Green book. If it is, I haven't read it. You know, I'm not fucking reading the shit. I'm going in blind. All I know is that it's probably going to be about Christmas. It's probably going to be a little bit romantic. So let's get started. And trust me, a little bit of snow can make a big difference. I don't know, it's probably gonna melt. If it's like a little bit of snow, it's probably gonna melt, so. She looks like fucking Joey King. Was she in, um, Dumplin'? That are right in front of you. How much you wanna bet they're besties, but he has feelings for her. Huge thanks to Stuart Bale for coming in. Uh, before we lose you, any big plans for the holidays? I'm still figuring it out. A singer, no plans for the holidays. Did she get rejected? Oh, she got accepted. She looks sad. <laughs> Why does she look sad about getting accepted? Is she the same girl as the one that I thought was Joey King? She looks the same. I'm sorry. Is she in love with him? Oh, she hates him. Oh my God, no, she hates him. She hates him and then they're gonna like get together and he's gonna be like, oh my God, you're the only girl that doesn't fangirl over me, so I like you. <laughs> Um, what are you doing here? You, you left. Flight got canceled. Too much snow. Oh, you're about to get your ass beat. Here, uh, you should go, Tobin. Tobin? Kind of a tight name. I was gonna make fun of it, but then I kind of realized what I said and I was like, Tobin? All right, Tobin, that's kind of T-bone. I've written and rewritten like 800 texts to her in the last two weeks. Lesbian writes. Uh, Let me see that picture of her again. Lesbian rights. Lesbian rights. I didn't know I was going to be getting some lesbian rights in this movie, but I'm very excited about it. Um, nothing. Jeb just liked one of Madison's photos. Yeah, he didn't only like it, he also commented a squid and piano emoji. Wonder what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Squid my penis. What? <laughs> Why was that the first thing that came to my mind? A squid and a piano emoji. Squid my penis. <laughs> squid my peen. Okay, so he's smiling. So what? In a picture with another girl. We're talking about Jeb. What's what's sh what's Jeb short for? Jeberson. Yes, Jeberson. 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 Kinley. Jeberson Kinley is his name. You're chasing Jeberson. She looks like Mila Kunis. What the heck is she related to Mila Kunis? Excuse me. <gasps> it's him! It's Stuart. Look, I'm not right now, okay? I'm really trying to stay low key, so. You dropped this. Oh, joke's on you, mate. Joke's on you. I'm so sorry. Look, even if I was. Even if I wasn't doing music, I would not throw myself at anyone because I am not like other girls. I'm really not like other girls. I do not fangirl over anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love these types of characters. <laughs> oh my god. Did they really make him do this? Oh my god, you're really showing the real things in life, right? That's really funny though. Okay. I mean, I, I'm kind of... I've never seen someone introduce nipple hair into a movie before. Oh, wow, nipple hair. I didn't know I would be getting nipple hair representation in this movie. <laughs> 
Yeah, speaking of which... Your chest is bleeding. Your nipple is bleeding. Whoa. Yeah, I was doing push-ups. Over in class. <laughs> Uh, things like broken glass. <laughs> what he? What is he doing? Why didn't you get a bit? You really think you're gonna heal your freaking nipple scar with that? Go get a band aid. What if his nipple was like gone? What if it, they like took off his nipple in this film? Like they were trying to film that scene and he like took it all off. Like it was just gone. Like his nipple was just gone. Wow, I'm really concerned about his nipple right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm getting demonetized for that nipple rant I just went on, for sure. Oh, you didn't hear? The universe is against me. It's not possible, dude. The universe is not some wicked lady. The universe is one infinite hug. He looks like Dwight from The First, Office. Wow, you uh, really gonna eat all that? Oh yeah, I don't waste any food. I fucking don't say that to anyone. When they're ordering anything, if they get their food, don't say that to them. I don't get it why people are like, you're gonna eat all that? It's like, yeah, I'm a fucking fat ass. I don't freaking care. Like, why are you, you're literally just indirectly calling me a fat ass by saying that and I don't like it. I just missed that whole scene because I was going on a rant about that one phrase. <laughs> to friends, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Is that Anna Akana? It's Anna Akana, it's Anna freaking Akana. <gasps> I love Anna Akana, what the hell? She's amazing. Maybe the universe isn't against me. Maybe it's telling me- Are they going to have their party at Waffle Town? Well, does that mean I can have my party here? Aren't you glad I called you in today? What the fuck, my mind. I'm a freaking psychic. That girl and I kind of had like a thing. <laughs> Her and Anna kind of were a thing. What the fuck? Can't believe I get to exist at the same time as you. Oh my God! Sorry, I'm like really excited. You guys ready or what? The Reston Brothers? This is their party? I thought they went to jail. No, I think the witness had a change of heart. They're either mean or scary in every single movie or show ever. You'll never find a nice pair of twins in <laughs> movies or TV shows. They're stereotypically mean because they have too much power being twins, if I'm being completely honest. If you're a twin, you have a lot of freaking power. And I know that, they know that. Oh my goodness. Right? I'm all good. You gotta try and stay vertical, my man. Okay, I'll fucking try to stay vertical. What the fuck? You sit perpendicular to the floor, my man. <laughs> okay. I got into Columbia in New York. Also, my mom is sick. So we're spilling out our heart to someone we just met five minutes ago. Ayo. This is very fast. Everything is happening very fast, very quickly. Anyways, Merry Christmas. I gotta go. Motherfucker, that was word vomit. That was like emotional word vomit, and then you just dipped. Hey! <laughs> it's fucking Sheila from. It's Sheila from Shameless. He knows where I am, though. Oh my god, now you're scared? You have terrible instincts. <laughs> I told you that. Bro, you're dumb as shit. <laughs> Bro, she's dumb as bricks. This place is beautiful. It's like the perfect holiday card. Snow hides a lot. It's like the spanks of weather. That's good. That was a good one. I would have laughed. At... I didn't laugh externally. But I, I appreciate, I respect it. That was a good one. I mean, even now, he doesn't think music is a real job. Bro, they are flying through these plots, I'll tell you that. They're like, we have like six relationships to get through. Go, go, go! <laughs> Rustin Brothers? I, I thought they were in prison. Oh, apparently not. Dude, get away from them. I can't, man. It's, it's their party, and we're here so the Duke can hang out with JP Lafayette. Hello? That was a moment of silence for your hopes of ever being with the Duke. Come an F. Drop an F for my man Tobin and his friend zone status and also his nipple. Come on, buddy. Bro, run him over. You ever just be driving and you're just like, should I run him over? You know, like you see a pedestrian and you're just like, should I? Just. But you don't do it, but like, it, there's a slight thought in your mind where you're like, should I? 
Um, dude, dude, I think your nipple's bleeding. We want to kiss it and make it better? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. Bro, I think his nipple's gone. Like, why is his nipple bleeding so much? I think it's just gone. Period. Hey. I, I just want to say, I don't really know what that was back there, but... What? What? Oh my god, she... Ah! And that's when I say lesbian Aww. rights, am I right? That was a 180. That was a, fuck, fuck. I was gonna do a 180 spin. That was a 180. 180. I don't know why you wear that thing, but I'm pretty sure you're attached. Is she gonna fall in love with her, the tinfoil lady? Set our differences aside and like get together <laughs> or something. About you, your hat, your past, baked potato. Well, what does your magic phone say is the correct one? Okay, boomer. Sorry. <laughs> She's very much of a boomer character in this. What does that phone say? I can't believe I'm hiding out in a church. Wow. Why are churches always just open? I, I got a question for you. Why is everyone just able to sneak into some churches? Everywhere. It's like they don't lock the doors there. I'm so confused by that. I don't get it. Why is my voice like this? I don't know. She's singing. Oh, yeah, he knows how to sing because he was in Descendants. You just knew I saw. I want them to kiss. That's cute. Very, very cute. I like this scene quite a bit, actually. Okay, are you mad about JP? Why would I be mad about JP? Are you jealous? Yeah, yeah, Angie. I'm jealous of, of JP. I'm jealous of the enlightened, broomball playing, meditating college boy. Fine. Be that way. I'm mad that you're mad that you're, you're jealous of, of me and I'm mad about it. What is that? I call it a quaffle waffle. Best enjoyed with a tall glass with butterbeer. What? from Harry Potter. Isn't that like for children? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna pretend we think Harry Potter is for children. Okay. I have no idea what any of these characters' names are. I just have to point that out that I do not have a clue. I know his name is Stuart. And I know Tobin, of course, my man Tobin. I don't know anyone else's name. I'm really sorry. I see that you're aching to get out of this town. So, I mean, I could get you a nurse, help with your mom. Like, what? Like I'm a charity case. I'm a charity case? What the fuck? <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, so I'm gonna go to this thing, this party, JP's friend's party. Are you fucking kidding me? I was waiting for the tow truck. Then I should probably deliver this keg. She's literally gonna ditch her bestie? Everybody what the fuck? I thought I, I thought you were cool. I thought you were cool. I completely changed. Now now I'm I'm with Columbia girl rather than you. I thought you were cool, but you're not cool. That's cold. That's cold. I know he was a little jealous and he was a little bitch. They're y'all are all bitches, but like since you're all bitches, like I ugh, that was kind of that's rough. She's literally ditching her bestie in the middle of nowhere in by a freaking random church. Uh, hey, why do you wear the no? No. Let's try to guess why she wears the foil, cause they're gonna reveal it at some point. Is it gonna be like she's deflecting? She's got an illness, or something's wrong with her? I think she's losing weight, but maybe it's like. She's like the Christmas spirit, I'm Santa Claus, and like, fuck you, you know? Maybe. Merry Christmas, D. You got me the pig? Bro, how is she gonna take care of the pig? She works at freaking Waffle House, there's bacon everywhere, that's like not- That's an abomination right there. And if somebody doesn't see that, that's not your problem, because you deserve to be with someone who wants to shout from the rooftops how great you are. That's really cute. That's a cute moment, I really like that. How cute. Oh my god, this is like book smart. That's like a little book smart moment, you know? 
I think these are just like tiny movies put into one movie, you know, like um, Columbia Girl and Stewart are like starstruck. They're like book smart. Um, I don't know what Tobin is. So I stole your keg? Come on, man. Bring it on. Try me, huh? Oh my God, he's gonna be like, you know where I'm from. here's my nipple blood. Yeah. You don't want this nipple blood. Fear raccoons? No. Couple of months of therapy and done. That's amazing. I'm fucking crazy. I'm batshit crazy. Yelling about raccoons and shit? Fucking nipple bleeding? <laughs> the nipple blood, I knew it was coming back. I don't know how his nipple keeps bleeding so much. I don't think it's there anymore. That's why it keeps bleeding. And when we hung out, I felt like we really got each other. I kind of thought you felt the same way. And that's rare, you know, but... This is amazing. It's bullshit how you've treated me today. Whatever your problem is, it's got nothing to do with me. This is getting really good. Don't throw up. Oh, in this moment, don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Angie, I'm in love with you. Wow. Full send. No regrets. It's not like, you know, in a traditional sense or anything. It's... it's Big bold moves today, it's baby. It's more like I think of you every moment of the day. I just want you to think I'm cool all the time. You know, when something funny happens, you're the only person I want to tell. This is great. Oh my God, he just said it. What, this is amazing. I just want to know if you think it's sad. I love the, <laughs> I'm sorry. There was like mucus like clogging my throat. <sighs> Not mucus, I meant saliva. <coughs> Bro, full send, no cap. This is amazing. I love this so much. I thought they were gonna beat her on the bush. She said, no, bitch, I'm in love with you. It's always been you. This is, ever that's great. This movie's kind of good. <laughs> it's not the best movie I've ever seen, but like the endings. Yeah. Is she gonna fall in love with someone else? <laughs> I mean, just like that night, you, you make me feel brave, and you make me feel like I want to be the best possible version of myself, so. Oh my gosh. She's gonna kiss her. <gasps> oh. oh my God. Wow. I didn't know how I was feeling about this movie at the beginning. It was kind of boring, but the endings are great. I love it. Are they gonna get together? Oh my gosh. Everybody's in love. You know, I'm okay with it. Oh, they're not gonna get together. What the fuck? I wanted everyone to get together. That's my peak. Oh. <gasps> cool. That's great. <laughs> I got excited! Okay, I was kind of skeptical at the beginning. The plots really weren't for me, but the ending, the ending is where it's at. It's very cute. I like how it all comes together. Very nice, very, very nice. I hope it falls off. I hope that W falls off. Oh, it turned on from fucking Santa Claus. What's the foil for? Please tell me what the foil is for. Sometimes. You just gotta let it snow. Yeah, baby. You're not gonna tell me what the fucking tin foil is for? Oh, I'm so upset. I waited this whole movie to see what the fucking tin foil was from, and you never fucking told me. I'm upset now. I'm. What was the point? The whole point of having something like that throughout the movie is for at the end of the movie, it to be a funny thing you say. I don't think the movie was bad. I've seen worse movies. I thought it was pretty cute. Is it my favorite movie ever? Definitely not. Is it all right? Yes. Should you watch it? I don't know. I've definitely seen worse though. Like it was a fine movie. It was like New Year's Eve or Valentine's Day or what to expect when you're expecting. Like it's one of those movies, you're not gonna get a masterpiece, but it's gonna make you 
smile a little, you can make fun of it a little bit. It's one of those feel good type of movies. They want you to feel good by the end of watching it. And that's what they did for me. I liked the ending. I thought it was really cute. But yeah, that was my video for today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts about this movie in the comment section down below. Follow me on my social medias at tcallevel. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos from me. And turn on the notifications bell as well if you want to be notified every single time I post a video. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you next time. Bye.